Some startling statistics from the now more than two year battle in the pandemic. Government researchers reveal three out of four children have been infected with COVID. Among all Americans, that number sits at nearly 60%. KKL9 Orange County reporter Michelle Geely live with more now. Michelle. Well, you guys, the good news is that prior infection could mean immunity from severe disease in the future. Doctors continue to push all of us to get our vaccines and our boosters when we are eligible. One year away. A majority of Americans have had COVID, according to new statistics from the Centers for Disease Control. In December, blood tests revealed that 34% of people in the U.S. had signs of a prior coronavirus infection. But that number shot up to 58% after the contagious Omicron variant surged across the country between December and February. Dr. Jim Keeney has been on the front lines of the pandemic in Orange County at Providence Mission Hospital, which currently has five COVID patients. We're still getting cases, um, but they're not as severe, uh, you know, and I think that, that has to do with immunity that either people have had it before or they've been vaccinated. And so we're just not seeing those big waves that we used to see. Orange County's health care agency continues to closely track COVID numbers. So far, what we're seeing is that the hospitalizations have remained low. We keep hearing that, yes, we're hearing more and more people are hearing of friends, families with positives, but it's not really affecting our numbers because we know a lot of people are doing the home antigen kit test. Unless there's another mutation, Dr. Keeney expects to see pockets of infections similar to what we see with influenza. We're getting used to COVID as what a lot of people would call endemic. So it's just part of the landscape now. Mm -hmm. And it's just a new normal and, and it's gonna be part of the disease processes we look at. Dr. Chinsio Kwong is concerned about the emergence of a variant that causes severe illness. But if we do have a variant that escapes all immunity that we have built, whether it's from vaccination or natural immunity, or it escapes all the treatments that we've created against um, this virus, then we're in trouble. Now, the United States COVID death toll could surpass 1 million people in two and a half weeks. That's the latest live here in Orange. I'm Michelle Geely. Back to you.